everyone, welcome back to Thrifted Living. My name is Kieran. I would like to share with you another video that is sort of along the lines of what I shared last week when I shared several different types of anthropology inspired thrifted Christmas items. So I love the anthropology inspiration for my home decor and for Christmas decor. Um, anthropology is a website that sells like clothing and furniture and decorations and stuff like that. And I definitely get a lot of inspiration from that website, but I also get a lot of inspiration from the Pottery Barn website. Pottery Barn also has a whole collection of different Christmas decor. And so I love getting inspiration from that website as well. And what I typically like to do is I will look on those websites, anthropology and Pottery Barn to get some ideas for the different seasons and how I can decorate and then when I go thrifting I have an idea of the different items that I'm inspired by. In today's video I would like to share with you some Pottery Barn thrifted inspiration. So all of the stuff that I have uh, that I'm going to be sharing with you I found at the thrift store. It's all been inspired by Pottery Barn's Christmas decorations and so I'm going to share with you the item that I thrifted and I'm also going to try to include a picture of the Pottery Barn website inspiration. So if you enjoy seeing thrifted inspiration, make sure you give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. So let's just jump right into this. The items that I'm going to share with you, I've been thrifting for years, many, many, many years. First thing I want to share with you is this bag of Apple Christmas ornaments. Now, the Pottery Barn website doesn't have apple ornaments like this in particular but they do have like a garland that has apples within it also have a string on them already so that you can already already have what you need to be able to hang them up on the christmas tree i like how they have a very realistic look to them while they are just made of like a like a foam almost and i love how like shiny and almost metallic they are they also have a little fabric leaf as well and a stem these apples were only a dollar at a garage sale. Next thing I found, I saw at the thrift store and it's a bag of polar bears and they were $4 and half off. Now I did see a lot of polar bear decorations on the Pottery Barn website. One looked very similar to what this looks like. It was actually made of glass. These are made of like a plastic material. This is what they look like. They have a couple different styles to them. One of them is like walking. And then there's another style where its feet are all together. It's not just like shiny. It has more of like a almost like a rainbow kind of texture to it. Speaking of sparkles, the next thing I want to show you are these sparkly Christmas trees. I've had these for quite a while. I honestly can't remember where I got them from, but I know I wouldn't have spent much on them. And I like this sort of like geometric pattern that it, it looks like a Christmas tree, but it definitely has more of like a an abstract kind of design to it. Unfortunately, I don't remember how much these were because I can't quite remember where I got them but definitely something that you see a lot of on the Pottery Barn website. I also see a lot of these like metal ornaments and metal de um, decorations on the Pottery Barn website and a lot of different like metal figurines and things like that. So this is a deer that I found at a thrift store. I don't remember the price of it, but it was probably like maybe $2, $2.50. It's just very simple. And, but because of the like shiny metal and the bit of distressing that it has to it, it has a little bit more dimension. This item I just found at the thrift store. I shared a Black Friday thrifting video. I will make sure to link that above. And I will have all of my thrift hauls linked above and my thrift with me videos linked above. I just got this a couple days ago. It was $3 and half off, but I actually was inspired by something that I saw on the Pottery Barn website. This is actually inspired by, it was a bag on the Pottery Barn website that's like a bottle carrier. And when I saw this at the thrift store, I was like, oh my gosh, it's like exactly the same. I like that it has the wooden material, like the woven basket material, but the belt is like a fake leather kind of material with an actual clasp and a little bit of trim around the bottom. So $1.50 is a really great deal for this. So in the same style as the reindeer that I showed you, I have a couple metal items that I want to share with you a little bit more. So the first one is a stocking holder. I got this so many years ago at the thrift store and I'm, I'm sad because at one point I had two. I had one for me and one for my husband, Sean, and unfortunately one of them fell and broke, but I love this. I've always loved using it for our stockings. Last year was the year that the other one broke. I wanna say they were like a dollar fifty each. Something that's similar to that are these really cute little candle holders. So they are little snowflake candle holders in this like silver metal material. 
I really like this simple design. When I decorate, I like to have a mixture of materials in the same space. So I might have like wood mixed with metal, mixed with glass, mixed with fabric. And so I, I take that same style into holiday decorating. And so I love having little things like this in the mix of other things. I find when I decorate that if I have a little bit of every type of material or a little bit of many types of materials, that you can really start to notice things a little more closely. I also really like kind of how they have a little bit of distressing to them. They were probably like a dollar a piece. I also find a lot of nutcrackers at the thrift store this time of the year. I actually went to the thrift store on Black Friday and they had, the one thrift store had a whole section of just nutcrackers. There were probably like 25 of them. It was so cool to see but I didn't buy any of them, but I was gifted these small ones. I wanna say that my dad might have given these to me, but I'm pretty sure that he actually got them at a garage sale. So here is the first one. They're little ornaments, so they will go on our tree. This is the other one. I think it's really cute, and I like how they're actually holding little wooden hearts because this will match something that you guys will see later on in this video. Um, a different type of material that I actually just got at the thrift store. There are some more of those little hearts. So it actually works really perfectly with something else that I'm going to share with you. So now I want to share with you some plaid items and I've always really liked plaid. It's not something that I would want to decorate my entire house in, not because I don't like plaid, but because I want there to be a variety of things in our house, a variety of different types of materials. I'm just going to share with you some plaid items that I have because plaid was something I definitely saw a lot of on the Pottery Barn website. So the first thing I found are these placemats. They might've come from to me from Big Lots, but I found them at the thrift store. I wanna say I spent maybe a quarter on these and I got four of them. So that's the first plaid item I want to show you. I think that this actually might've been gifted to me as well, but it's this really cute little stocking, not little, this really cute big stocking that has like a countdown to Christmas on it with a little ornament right here. I like the embroidery of the numbers on it. I think it's really pretty. One of my absolute favorite thrift finds that has plaid on it, it's this absolutely gorgeous bowl. And I love the plaid pattern on this. I love the gold bottom. It also has a gold trim around the top and it has sort of like a scalloped kind of design to the top of it. This was probably $2 at the thrift store. I've used this for so many years. I wanna say I've had this piece for like 10 years. I used to fill it with Christmas bulbs and that was always really cute. I haven't used it in a couple years, so I'm hoping to be able to use it this year for the holidays. The next thing I want to share with you are stockings. I can always find a ton of stockings at the thrift store. $3 originally, but most of the stuff at that thrift store was half off on Black Friday, so I got each of these for $1.50. I got three of them. Two of them have this tree on it, so one will be for me and one will be for my husband, Sean. And then the last one is this, and this one is going to be for our dog, Finley. A style that I'm not really familiar with is like the painted Santa style. So having like images of Santa or the reindeer or snowmen or anything like that, I'm not really familiar with decorating with that kind of style. I wanted to try to incorporate some of that into my style. I've had this three tier tray for so many years. So on each layer, it has a drawing of Santa or two or three. I don't remember what this greenery is. So if you guys know, let me know in the comments. I think it'd be really fun to have candy displayed in it. This was only, I wanna say $2. Let me know how you guys would use this tiered tray in your home. Another recent thrift store find is this lantern. I like to have things like these silver candle holders with wood and rope and different styles like that. This was only $4. And so I just wanna take and put like a candle, maybe like a like a, an electric candle or something like that in here and just set it up maybe right near our Christmas tree. On the Pottery Barn website, there is an entire section for tree skirts and like things that you would put around the bottom of a tree. So what I plan to do from inspiration from the Pottery Barn website is use this material that I found at the thrift store. It's a huge amount of material. I think it might even be like a tablecloth but it has this really cool texture to it and I plan on wrapping this around the bottom of the Christmas tree and having that sort of be our tree skirt. It was five dollars for that entire um, length of fabric which is absolutely amazing and the last items I would like to share with you are the thrifted Christmas trees that I found at the thrift store yesterday. I just shared in the Christmas decorating video that I found them at the thrift store yesterday. They are in three different sizes. I was able to get all three of those trees for like $21 and 
We've never had anything decorated on our landing like that, but I think they're just small enough to fit in that space and I think they look really cute. $20 is a little bit more than I would typically spend for something like that, but I'm really happy that I found them. I hope you enjoyed seeing all of the items I've been thrifting over the years that have been inspired by Pottery Barn Christmas decor. In the comments below, let me know what your favorite item was from this haul. Also, let me know what kind of style you guys like to use when you decorate for the holidays. Do you have a particular website that you like to look at for inspiration? Do you have a particular designer that you get inspiration from? Let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to follow me on Facebook at Thrifted Living and on Instagram at Thrifted Living YouTube. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye!